Today we are going to do some more sightseeing and we'll take you along with us. Mm -hmm. um, we're headed to a, another part of Massachusetts, not, not too far away from here. And uh, it, it, it should be exciting. It's, it's a very interesting part of history. United States history. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it goes along with the Old North Church that we did the other day. Yes. Yes. So um, stay with us and we'll take you along. Just one other little thing. Um, I took a video of two of my grandsons last time I was down in Las Vegas. So I'm going to share that video with you now. I just want you to tell you about the piano. The piano that they're playing was my mom and dad's old piano that they bought in the late 1940s with $75 worth of milk, $75 worth of milk from their cow. The piano itself, they bought it second hand. The piano itself was made in 1910. And it's been in the family ever since the late 1940s and I inherited it when my mom and dad left southern Nevada and moved and they didn't want to take the piano with them so that's what's the history of the piano that's in this video <laughs> Quite the experience. 
in Boston or in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. We're ready to go. Mm -hmm. What we've learned, and we're not even trying to be Debbie Downers, but what we've learned <laughs> is that Massachusetts has the craziest drivers in the whole United States. Oh my word, I've never, and they're not, oh well, <laughs> I better. <laughs> And I'm sure a lot of those drivers are just lovely people. <laughs> and they accidentally press their horns all day long. Mm, and pull out in front of you. Oh, I mean, if you, yeah. If you don't give them a space to turn, they did, they're just they'll there. take it. And I try to be friendly and give people spaces to turn. But mm -hmm. even before I get up there, they're already, they're already pointing at me and saying, I'm pulling in right here. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for the warning. I'll just put on my brakes then. <laughs> but I tell you, this has been a different driving experience that I've ever had and I've driven from one side of this country to the other side through Washington DC through Washington DC in DC went we drove to Toronto Toronto <laughs> Toronto Canada drove among them and that was a different experience but not like this no this is this has been special <laughs> all the years I've been waiting to come to Boston and come down I don't think I'm coming back to Boston. <laughs> I yeah. wanted to. I really, yeah. really wanted to see Boston. And well, and that's the other thing. There's no parking. We've been trying to see a lot of historical sites, and we were able to see Actually, some. in Boston. Well, sure, she don't. <laughs> well, I'm correcting something. <laughs> I'm just right here. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> There was parking. In downtown Boston, there was parking. Yeah, there was. There were parking parking um, places. <laughs> Lots of stuff. And, which is like D.C. They have paid parking, and Boston does too. Today we tried to go to Quincy, Massachusetts to see where John Adams and John Quincy Adams are from. There isn't any parking there. And in every single place we've been in Massachusetts, they have roads blocked off for road work. There's, it's, there's just no place to park. Well, except evidently Boston because he <laughs> corrected me. Did you not have a parking place in Boston? I did. Yes, I remember that. But, but today's experience, Trump bad, yeah. bad experience. But anyway, mm. we're which, still. Which is really sad because we had so much more we wanted to see. Yes. I just want to get out of here. I'm we now. didn't see nearly half of the historical sites that we wanted to visit. Today, for example, there was no parking anywhere. So we spend a lot of time in Target <laughs> spending money. But it's a cool Target. We really, really like Target in the area. Two stories. So you, <laughs> we could just actually go up on the second floor where Target is and then the parking garage is underneath, which I'm all for. Yes. Because if it's raining... You don't need an umbrella. You can just go and load in the parkage, parkage, <laughs> in the parkage gearing. <laughs> this is kind of week we've had so far. <laughs> but what's fun is to go to the second floor of the target and put the shopping cart on its special escalator which i'll show you in a video right after this one ends and it's it writes cool. down with all your stuff so i'm assuming that if you just did that for fun and you went up on the second floor of target you just kept sending cars down they might kick you out and they might get tired they're about what, right, right what if we sat in a cart and it who's went getting down? you out how are you getting in and then who's helping you get out Okay, evidently we're delirious. We don't drink. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm pretty tired of Massachusetts. <laughs> anyway, this sums up our Massachusetts, Massachusetts <laughs> experience. And we just wanted to let you know that after today, we are moving on to our next destination. So We actually start the trek back west. Yes, yes. But um, we do have one more thing that I hope works out. <laughs> Yes. I can tell you what it is in case it doesn't, then you'll never know and we'll never And we'll never speak we'll of never this speak again. Of it. Anyway, you all have a great day and uh we'll be back.
So this is one of the coolest targets I've ever been in in my life. Watch our cart come down here. Who is that?